walk into walk onto this this mat, they're gonna complain. This is a sensitive area. Or if you stay this room for too long, it also complain. So if I wanted to rob this bank, I would have to do it very slowly, but also get it done very quickly. Yes. Right. If in the process somebody was hurt and falling on the floor, the camera will know immediately. So it knows. Okay, so falling down. Okay, so I've also not got to injure anyone while moving slowly and quickly. You cannot crawl. <laughs> you cannot do this. <laughs> He's really got this place covered. <laughs> I think I'll rub somewhere else. And it's more than just behavior that's being monitored here. Deep Glint supplies facial recognition systems that can pick out hundreds of faces at once and even identify stolen cars, not by their number plates, which may have been changed, but by their markings, their stickers, and their scratches. Of course, it's not just in Beijing that you find innovation startups and incubators. They're happening all over this vast country. And Jen Copesake has been to central China, to Chengdu, where something very strange is going on. Yes, I've traveled to the heart of China's Sichuan province, to the provincial capital Chengdu. It's famous for its pandas and mahjong. There's even electric tables in the countryside. I'm playing uh, Mount Zhong, I think. <laughs> and it's now building a reputation for high tech, too. The University for Engineering, Science and Technology is one of the best in the country for robotics. There are 35,000 students here from all over China. And many of them make robots, including these autonomous characters. Kitted out with high-definition cameras, they're designed to carry out jobs from neighborhood watch to monitoring bail conditions. They can even keep track of prisoners in jail. The theme of surveillance is strong here, as you might expect. A team from the university has developed this police car prototype. The 360-degree camera mounted on the car's roof can automatically scan for faces within a 60-meter radius. I tested it out by going for a run, and it did pick out my face. It would be matched against a police database to see if I was a criminal or suspect, and then send an alert to the car if there was a positive match. The final version of the car should be able to pick people out at speeds of up to 120 kilometers an hour. Spooky stuff. But we've really come to Chengdu to play with this. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's actually really intimidating. The robot is designed to be as much like a human player as possible. Its eyes are the HD cameras at the back of the court. These computers send prediction data on where the shuttlecock will fall back to the robot via Bluetooth. Its hands are rackets. The information received needs to be millimeter accurate for it to get shots back. The robot starts in a central position. Its brain has a map of the court, and it won't venture outside the lines. I think I can beat him, but he's... <laughs> so how did you get involved in this project? Uh, and did you win the competition? Yeah, of course, champion. <laughs> our our company <laughs> name is champion. <laughs> oh. No arguing there. <laughs> You don't have to drive far in China's cities to hit this. In fact, this is why you can't really drive far at all, not in less than an hour anyway. 
And that may explain why China is working fast to catch up with the current talk of the town, autonomous cars. Right now, everyone owns a private car, but down the road, that doesn't need to be this way. The, a car can be shared among many people. Only 5% of the, the time the car was driven. 95% of the time it's parked. So if you have autonomous cars, once they've dropped you off, they can go and... Yeah, they can go, go away. Or? Yeah, it's yeah. easy. Yeah, when you think about it, there is a good argument for sharing autonomous vehicles. And that argument is being made by Baidu, China's largest search engine. It's just announced a plan to develop a test area for autonomous taxis and buses in the city of Wuhu over the next three to five years. Well, this is Baidu's autonomous car. It's a BMW with all the standard features of any autonomous car. You've got super accurate GPS up there. LiDAR, laser radar on the top and also on all four sides. Round the front, millimetre wave radar under there. A tonne of cameras.